welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so I have a really teeny tiny little haul for you today. It is gonna be a little one, um, I'm afraid, but I went into London with my dad a few weeks ago and of course we went into an art shop. So we actually went into Cass Art, which is one of the many shops in London that you can go to. Uh, they do have a website, so I will link it in the comments below for you. But yeah, so I, I my dad lives in America, so basically I don't get to see him that much. So when I do, it's quite fun to like go into different stores and we just basically walk around London and he takes me to all the old antique shops and then I take him to the art shop. So that's just what we do. <laughs> um, anyway, so we uh, went into Casa and um, had a look around and bless him, he decided to buy me a couple of things. He's always supported my art and both my parents have. Uh, and so is my partner so I'm really thankful um, to have that support as well it does really make a big difference to you especially if like you're not too sure about whether or not your art's any good or anything like that so just a quick haul and I really hope you enjoy it I've got a couple of really cool things to show you and yeah let's get into it so the first thing that I'm going to actually show you is yeah. the cast art bag i know it's really silly because it's just a bag but oh my god i love it so this says so Payne's gray um on it i really really like it because it has all the information about um the Payne's gray paint on the back so it says Payne's gray is a dark bluish gray made primarily from a mixture of ultramarine and Mars Black, named after the 18th century watercolorist William Payne, who was recognised as the first to create the mixture, and it is most often used as a subtler mixing alternative to black. So yeah, it's got lots of information on the back there um, for you. So yeah, I really do like the bag. It's quite useful. It has two little handles, and then as well, you've got a shoulder bag. So I'm going to be using that for loads of things. So very very excited to have that as uh, i like bags i think um i'm probably gonna use it as a shopping bag so <laughs> um yes so the first thing i'm going to show you is this so this is the windsor and newton oil box so what we've got in here is the professional oil color it's like a starter box so it's got loads of different paints so i'm going to show you that and it's in a really nice wooden so that's quite loud uh, a really nice wooden box. So, okay. Okay, here we go. So we've got a plastic palette here that can be pulled out. These are just holding it in there. We've got all the oil paints in the bottom there. So we've got the Windsor Yellow, Alizarin Crimson, Windsor Blue, uh, Windsor Green, Ivory Black, Burnt Umber, yellow ochre and titanium white oil colours. We then have a little Windsor Newton cloth. Her wiping brushes on. We've got some uh, solvents. So this is Sansador. So this is the Windsor Newton solvent oil colours. We have the Windsor Newton uh, liquid original. So that's for um, speeding up your drying time and improving your gloss. I don't know what this is for, so if any of you guys know, then please let me know down in the comments. I'm assuming it's for like these things to put them in. I don't know, it's got a clip on the back so you can attach it to a palette. We then have a palette knife as well. A little pencil, this is, it doesn't actually say what it is, but so I'm assuming it's HB. We have a medium kneaded putty eraser. Always useful to have more of those. And then we've got two brushes. So we have the hog hair brushes. We've got a long flat brush and a short flat brush there. And they're both in size two. So I'm really excited to try this out. I've literally never used oil paint ever. So I just wanted something that I could um, sort of try first of all before I really invest in like loads of oil paints because that's my toxic trait is to you know just jump straight in so hopefully this will stop me from doing that <laughs> um but yeah i'm really really excited to give that a try and i will do a whole video on when i do do some 
oil painting. I want to get back into using like proper paints, not just watercolors. I say not just watercolors, they're proper paints, but um, like more sort of like acrylics and oils as well, first of all, before I start with the um, oils. Um, so yeah, very exciting. And it comes in a lovely box. The box is super nice. The next thing that I got is really awesome. So this is a set of Winsor & Newton Series 7 watercolour brushes. I have been wanting these for quite a long time, but I've never really been able to invest in them. So we have four brushes here. They are Kalinsky uh, Sable brushes. And they come in this lovely pouch. Now, whilst we were in Cathart, um, I initially picked up the Cathart Sable brushes to try. Um, and my dad, bless him, he bought me both. Um, and that's not me, it's not like a flex or anything, that's not me trying to show off, it's just that's just what happened. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to try them. I'm gonna try the Cass Art brushes first and then I'll use the Windsor & Newt ones because I don't wanna ruin the Windsor & Newt ones in case I fluff it up, basically. Um, so these are watercolor brushes. This is what the case looks like in there. And you can see I've added two other brushes as well. So the Cass Art brushes came in the same sizes as the Winsor Newton Series 7 brushes. So we have a double O in both the Winsor Newton Series 7 and the Cassart brush. We have a one size um, in the Cassart, sorry, and then there's a two size in the Winsor Newton. There's a three in the Winsor Newton, um, a three in the Cassart, four in the Cassart, four in the Winsor Newton, and a the biggest one in the cast size is a six, so that's that one there, compared with the zero, or double zero there. So you can see the difference between the sizes. So I'm really excited to give those a try. In with these brushes, I have also put my uh, Da Vinci Maestro Kalinsky Sable brush and my uh, Pro Art Renaissance Sable Rigger as well in here. It's just to keep them safe because they're natural hair brushes. Um, and I don't want anything sort of chewing on them or, or, or ruining them. So they are going to live in here with the Series 7 brushes. I'm very excited to give them a try. Can't wait. Da, da, da. I think I might even have one or two other. I need to go through all my brushes because I've got some that are just like grim. Like this. I don't even know. What is, what is that doing in there? That doesn't belong in there. That's an oil brush. Anyway, I need to go through my brushes and work out what I've got um, as well. So, next thing I've got is, actually it wasn't from Cassart, this is from uh, Arteza, but I wanted to show you it because every, every sort of time, this time of year rolls around, I start talking about the Arteza sketchbooks because this is about when I normally buy them um, because I use, I buy them during October and then I use them for October and then I continue to use them throughout the year. However, as some of you may be aware, the Arteza sketchbooks I normally use for October have been out of stock for quite a while. Now you can get them now, I think, in a they of stock again, but I did check the other day and they were in stock. But at the time I ordered this, they weren't in stock. So I was getting prepped for Inktober and I bought this. So this came as a pack of two. So the other one is being used for my Inktober sketches at the minute. And yes, I know it's November. I know I'm running really late with Inktober. It just, it's just life. It's just the way life happens, but I'm determined to finish an Inktober, even if it means finishing it in like December, it doesn't matter. It's just the way it is. <laughs> so these sketchbooks, I, cannot speak highly enough about them for the price that they are. They are so cheap. I think I paid like, it might have been like 25 pounds for these two really large sketchbooks. Now they, they are, these are nine by 12 inches. The reason I love them is first of all, they are 300 GSM. So they are thick. The paper is thick, which is what you want for watercolor or even painting in general. They are acid free. We have a little bit of texture. I'll just hold that a bit closer. You might be able to see it on there. Um, but they also have these perforations down the edge. 
so just down there you can see that there so as well as being ring bound which i prefer because it means i can just fold back the cover of it and then just paint on a flat surface there's no faffing around no breaking the spines of the sketchbook i can just get straight in there so i personally love that i know some people don't it's just my personal preference um it also means that i can tear these out and i have done that in the past i've teared pieces out to then scan them on my scanner to make prints out of them so it just makes it a lot easier for me to to use so you can rip these out and they are fantastic so i have the smaller version here to show you so you can see the size difference i just want to point out as well this isn't sponsored by the way this is just i just love these sketchbooks they're so good the Artesia, if you want to sponsor me any client feel free to get in touch because I love these. So that's the smaller size. I think this is eight by five by five inches, but I've taken off the label from the front. Um, and you can see from this piece, this is just a piece that I've not finished, but I have heavily saturated with water because I just did. And you can see that it's like, it's barely warped. There's a little bit of warping in the back, but it's, it's nothing to really write home about. Um, they're just, it, they're just really good. They're so good for the value, for the, what they cost. That's why I, I love them because they are so good. Of course, they're not gonna be like your 100% cotton papers or anything like that. But for the sort of 20, 30 pounds that they are, I mean, for these, you get three in a set, two in a set. And I think you can buy them by themselves as well, but it's better value to buy the set. Um, they're just so good, so cheap. So one last thing that I got, and it wasn't from Casa, it was actually from Kindles in Cambridge, is a Daniel Smith dot card. Now I've been wanting to have one of these for ages, but you know what, I've always found them really expensive. I don't know why she's taken the price off of that though, but um, it was $8.99, so yes, they are quite expensive. But, and there's a, there's a lot of Prima set colours on there, and I do have some of those. So the Hematite, for example, I have that. The Amethyst, I have it. Um, the, I don't think I have the Black Tourmaline. The Blue Appetite, I have. So there's a few Prima set colours on there that I do already have. Um, but I just thought this would be a really fun thing to do, to like swatch them. I can see what colours I like, what colours I don't like, because I was in the... The shop the other day and i was just looking at the daniel smith colors and i was like oh, i don't remember what i've got anymore i know i've got um oh what's it called i've got one of the quinacridones but i can't remember if it's quinacridone rose quinacridone pink or quinacridone magenta or quinacridone violet i can't remember which one it is so i have got one i don't know which one it is um, and I know that I have also got Luna Black. And, right, so I've got Quinacridone Purple, Sap Green, I don't remember buying that. And by the looks of it, I've not even swatched that. So Sap Green, which apparently I've bought. It's becoming a problem. Um, Green Appetite Genuine. Rose of Ultramarine, which I love. And then I've also got, what's that? What the hell is that? What? That's squash. Why did I buy that? What's wrong with me? That's squash. I don't remember buying. That's under moon. Uh, Cascade Green, which I also haven't swatched. <laughs> uh, moon Glow. Moon Glow is one of my favourite ones. Uh, and then I have a set of the blues as well, um, which I have swatched before. And there's a video which I'll link up here of me swatching it. And uh, yeah, so I was just looking at all the paints. And as you can see, I've already forgotten some of the paints that I bought. Like these two paints I don't remember buying uh, at all. I must have, oh, obviously I did because I've got them. Um, Sap Green and Cascade Green. I think I was looking for a nice green and that must be why I bought these two. 
I just haven't used them yet. This is what happens when you get very busy with work. So I was getting like really overwhelmed because I couldn't remember what I had, what I didn't have, what I wanted, what I was looking for. Like I probably should have made a note, but um, with the way that my work is when I go into an art shop, it's usually just like I'm popping in on the way past going to work basically. Um, so I thought that having this dot card would make things a bit easier for me to just have a look at a few, a few of them, see what I like, see what I've got or haven't got. Um, and then there's also on some of these enough paint to be able to use them again because you can reactivate them. So I will do a whole swatching video with this dot card and you can watch that. Um, when I've done it, I will link it below and we'll see what's on there and what's really nice and what we like. And I think that'll be really fun to do and it'll just be something that's just a relaxing, fun thing to, to kind of do. With that being said, I have waffled on enough about my memory loss when it comes to purchasing watercolors. Uh, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was just a really quick haul, um, but if you did enjoy this, please do give me a thumbs up. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I kind of see this as, I don't, I don't really have anyone that I can talk to about art. So that's you guys, you are my art friends basically. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed this. And um, if you'd like to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. And otherwise I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.